hello everyone welcome to my channel and here uh, uh, in this question we just simplify this uh, uh, radical term in which we have inside iota and its square root okay so uh, here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we uh, suppose that uh, square root of iota is equals to z okay and we know that z is the complex number z is denoted by complex numbers okay so uh, here uh, we suppose that our z is equals to x plus iota y and now here we substitute the value of uh, z equals to x plus iota y here and it is written as x plus iota y is equals to square root of iota and now in the next step uh, here we need to uh, eliminate this square root uh, square root sign on the right hand side so in order to eliminate this square root sign here we need to taking uh, squaring on both of the sides okay so here we need to take squaring on both of the sides so it is written as x plus iota y and its whole square equals to iota and its whole square so now you see here these two and square root are gone and here uh, in the left hand side we use the nice square identity and you know about this identity if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b here we need this nice square identity in the left hand side so uh, we apply this identity in the left hand side and our left hand side is written as uh, x square plus uh, iota y square plus uh, 2 times of x into iota y is equals to iota okay these are cancelled by each other and we get iota only and now in the next step here we need to separate this square uh, on both of these terms and it is written as x square plus iota square y square plus 2xy into iota and it is equals to iota so here uh, we need to know about something about iota so uh, we know that iota is equals to square root of minus 1 and when we take square on both sides then you get iota square equals to minus 1 okay so here we use this uh, this uh, value of iota square in the left hand side so when you substitute it here uh, it is written as x square minus y square plus 2 times of x y into iota is equals to we write this iota as 0 plus 1 multiplied by iota okay we write this iota in this form and now uh, here i can just put the bracket on this uh, this part and we write it here and now in the next step here uh, we compare uh, the real and imaginary part on both of the sides okay compare real and imaginary part so uh, you very well know about the real and imaginary part uh, so uh, the uh, the part uh, without iota is called the real part and the part with iota is called the imaginary part so here you have this part is without iota so we call this is real part so in the left hand side we have real part is x square minus y square and in the right hand side we have real part is zero similarly uh, the coefficient of iota term is called the imaginary part so this is iota and its coefficient is 2xy so uh, 2xy is equals to here the coefficient of this iota is equals to 1 so in the right hand side we have imaginary part is 1 so now we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2 and now here our target is to find the value of x and y so here first we focus on equation number 2 and now equation number two is implies that here we move this 2x to the right hand side and we write it as y equals to 1 over 2x and we call this is equation number three and now we substitute this value of y in equation number one 
and we easily get the value of x from here okay so here uh, we just uh, substitute the value of y in equation number one so that uh, when we substitute this value of y in equation number one it is written as x squared minus y squared and we have the value of y is 1 over 2x and this whole equals to 0 because this is y squared so we write here 1 over 2x squared so now in the next step uh, here we need to move this minus 1 over 2x squared to the right hand side and it is written as x squared equals to 1 over 2x and its whole square so further we need to uh, expand this square root square sign so we know that 1 square equals to 1 and 2x square equals to uh, 4 times of x square and in the left hand side we have this is x square so uh, in the next step uh, here uh, we need to move this x square in the left hand side and it is written as in this form x to the power of 4 equals to 1 over 4 okay so because we need to find the value of x so here uh, we just uh, uh, take the square root on both of the sides of this equation uh, so here when you take a square root we write the left hand side as in this form x square and it's the whole square root and we write it as square root on the right hand side okay so here in the left hand side uh, you see here or uh, this two and square root are gone and we obtain a from a left hand side is x square equals to uh, we know that the square root of one is one and the square root of four is equals to two so here we again take squaring on both of the sides and you get the value of x is, is equals to plus minus 1 over square root of 2. So these are the two values of x and now from these two values of x we easily get the value of y and you see here uh, in equation 3 we have y equals 1 over 2x. So uh, here we just write that uh, from equation number 3 implies that we have y equals to 1 over 2x. Here we substitute these two values uh, on this equation here and first we put the positive value it is 1 over 2 square root and here we substitute the negative value it is 1 over minus 1 over 2 square root okay so when you substitute this value here uh, so it is uh, written as in this form uh, y equals to 1 over 2 into 1 over square root of 2 and here we have x equals to minus 1 over uh, uh, we put this value here so this is our y equals to uh, 1 over 2 into minus 1 over square root of 2 okay so here uh, we move this square root sign to the uh, upside so it is written as our y is equals to 1 over square root of 2 and from here we easily get y equals to minus 1 over square root of 2 okay so uh, finally uh, we have uh, the two values of uh, x and y so here uh, in the start of the problem uh, you see here we have uh, we need to find the value of this uh, expression iota square root and we call it is equals to x plus y so we uh, copy down this whole equation here so here we move uh, uh, this equation in which we have a square root of iota is equals to x plus iota y so because here we have the value we have two values of x and y so uh, if i can write the values of x is equals to <clears throat> plus minus 1 over square root of 2 these are the two values of x and values of y is plus minus 1 over square root of 2 so here we substitute these two values in this expression and finally we get our answer is plus minus square root of iota is equals to plus minus 1 over square root of 2 and uh, uh, plus minus the value of y is plus minus 1 over 2 square root of iota 
so this is the our final simplified form of this expression and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos